today's Tuesday, welcome to your pocket news. Today's tales will range from an interesting youth campaign, computer literacy and skirts. So let's go. European politicians are making a lot of noise this week about the European Constitution. But what about us? Although we can comment as much as we like, in reality we don't have a voice. And it's with this in mind that Jeff, the young European Federalists, launched their campaign this year and online petition inviting us to sign if we felt there should be a public referendum on the European Constitution. They have already collected thousands of autographs in around 20 European cities in favour of an EU-wide referendum. The organisation feel a referendum on the future European Constitution should coincide with the European Parliament elections in 2009. If you tend to agree, get your name down too. On humanitarian aid, the EU has come up with concrete plans to aid Palestinians. According to Foreign Policy Chief Javier Solana, they will resume economic aid to the Palestinian Authority to support the new Fatah-led government. The decision comes after Israel promised it would ease economic sanctions now that Hamas plays no official role in the Palestinian government. At a meeting of foreign ministers this week, Solana spoke for the EU when he said he was prepared to make some direct payments to the government of the new Palestinian Prime Minister, Salam Fayyad. The EU is currently the biggest donor to the Palestinians but will not grant the fund right away. The new Palestinian administration has to put financial mechanisms in place first to ensure the cash is distributed fairly. Are you technologically illiterate? If not, fear not, as looks like help is on your way. Rumour has it that a union of 14 companies including Microsoft, Cisco Systems, Oracle, HP, Siemens and lots more have joined forces with the European Commission to ensure that all European workers have the basic ICT knowledge that we need for a decent job. Known as e-skill courses, we should all have access to one thanks to the expertise of companies like Microsoft and EU funds. In the last few years, we've seen the emergence of a new kind of conflict on the internet, known as cyber conflict. Most take place between ethnic or religious groups, just like in real life, and others between a social movement and its antagonistic institution. Whatever the reason, European countries are just as vulnerable as ever. And specialists in solving conflicts on the internet Athena Karatsukiani has warned the EU that what happened a few months back in Estonia could easily repeat itself and that they just have to take action fast. And finally, do you wear skirts? If so, did you know that men consider you highly intelligent for doing so? Especially if you wear them just above the knee. Like Sharon Stone in Basic Instinct. The info stems from a Tampax survey who interviewed around 5,600 women and men in the UK, Spain, France, Belgium and Denmark. They also deduced that only 1 in 10 of us actually really bare our legs on a frequent basis. A statistic which I quite frankly don't believe. And seemingly Spanish men prefer short skirts, while the Belgians and English rather women in a long one. Well that's all for today on Euro Pocket News, but I'll be back tomorrow with lots more, so don't miss out. Bye bye!